Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel Swami Vijay and this is Swami Vijay speaking to all. In this video, I am going to start another poem from your main textbook, Honeydew textbook. But before I start the poem, let me ask you one question as usual. Which season do you like most out of the four seasons? There are four seasons, winter season, summer season, spring season, autumn. Of course, we can take rainy season also. So out of these five seasons, which season do you like most and why do you like that particular season? Some of you may like rainy season because you can play under rain and your parents may scold you also. Some may like winter season because during winter season you can wear different different clothes, many layers of clothes. So some may like winter season and some may like summer season because during summer season they can come out and they can play. So in the same way, which season do you like most and what are the reasons? Just comment in the comment section without delay. I will be waiting for your reply. Now, why did I ask you this question is the poem which I am going to start is also have connection and this is a nature poem written by John Keats. So the name of the poem I am going to begin is if you have textbooks, please open your textbooks. The name of the poem which I am going to begin in this video is on the grasshopper and cricket. So without any delay, let me first read the before you read part. Unlike the ant and the cricket, which is in page number 21 which tells a story. This is a nature poem. In it, the grasshopper and cricket do not appear as characters in a story. Rather, they act as symbols, each suggesting something else. Read the poem and notice how the poetry of earth keeps on through summer and winter in a never ending song. Who sings the song? So this is about the introduction of the poem on the grass of foreign cricket like that previous poem the ant and the cricket it doesn't tell a story the two creatures grasshopper and cricket are actually used as a symbols to represent two different seasons so first let me read the poem and then i'll give you the summary of this poem without any delay stanza number one the poetry of earth is never dead when all the birds are faint with the hot sun and hide in cooling trees a voice will run from hedge to hedge about the new mown meat that is that is the grasshoppers he takes the lead in summer luxury he has never done with his delights for when tired out of with fun he rests at ease beneath some pleasant weed second stanza the poetry of earth is ceasing never on a long winter evening when the forest has wrought a silence from the stone there shrills the cricket song in warmth increasing ever and seems to one in drowsiness half lost the grasshoppers among some grassy hills so this is a simple poem having two stanzas but the first stanza talks about summer season the second stanza talks about winter season in the first stanza first let me tell you these two symbols grasshopper and cricket are used by john Keats to represent two different seasons grasshopper symbolizes the hot summer season and cricket symbolizes the cold winter season so in the first stanza the poetry of earth is never dead what is the poetry of earth that means the beauty of earth will never end if we consider the poetry of earth is a song sung by birds and other insects and animals on the planet earth there will be some birds and animals which enjoy summer season as well as there will be some birds and animals will enjoy the winter season that means the music and the song of the earth will continue in all the seasons so we may show differentiation between summer season and winter season but every season has its own advantages and disadvantages of course the poetry of earth is never dead so it will remain permanent on the planet earth the poetry when all the birds are faint with the hot sun and hide in cooling trees a voice will run from hedge to hedge about the new moon meat so during hot summer when all the birds and animals are tired and settled down under a tree there will be one creature which will be singing the song what is that creature that is the grasshoppers he takes the lead in summer luxury he has never done with his delights so grasshopper song makes uh, animals and the whole planet earth happy 
because during summer season when other animals are tired grasshopper starts singing and the song represents or symbolizes the beauty of the summer season for when tired out with fun he rests at ease beneath some pleasant weed even after singing when grasshopper also gets tired it takes rest under a small plant so this is about the first stanza that means during summer season if other may think that summer season is very difficult to enjoy but certainly grasshopper enjoys the summer season and grasshopper song or grasshopper when it starts singing beautifies and makes the summer season as a beautiful season to enjoy now let us go to the next stanza second stanza talks about the cold winter climate and winter season the poetry of earth is ceasing never during cold winter season also the poetry of earth will continue it will never stop on a long winter evening when the forest has wrought a silence from the stone there shrills the cricket song big due to the cold season the entire forest the entire world will be covered with thick frost or snow but even in that condition also when birds and animals uh, go somewhere and to take shelter for the cold climate there will be some creature which will enjoy and which will start singing from the stones there shrills the cricket song in warmth increasing ever and seems to one in drowsiness half lost the grasshoppers among some grassy hills that means during cold season cricket song will make everybody to feel happy and it gives warmth to the cold season and seems to one in drowsiness half lost the grasshoppers among some grassy hills that means grasshopper will sing during summer season and cricket sings during winter season both these seasons are important we have to understand that according to john keats these two seasons are very important seasons and these two seasons plays a very crucial role to balance the nature so in nature we should also enjoy we should also learn to enjoy summer season and we should also learn to enjoy cold season so this poem is not actually about grasshopper or cricket like the ant and the cricket in this poem john keats used grasshopper and cricket as symbols so you have to understand that keats is a nature poet and he represents or he symbolizes grasshopper and cricket for two different seasons so this is about the summary of the poem on the grasshopper and the cricket written by john keats if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel so that you can receive latest updates and information the moment i upload videos on youtube and always remember stay home stay safe and stay strong take care thanks for watching this video if you have come to the end of this video i believe that you are interested to watch a few more videos related to the topic so now you can check this out video or watch this one click this video it will take you into another video